Today we're going to take a look around an interesting site near Maryborough, which provides us with a glimpse into the history of four different industries through time. Gold puddling, quartz crushing, cyaniding, and eucalyptus distillation. This is the Battery Dam Historic Area within the Craigie State Forest, and it was once a gold ore crushing and cyanide treatment plant. A stamp battery stood here at the base of this loading ramp and it was run using steam power which was provided by this Cornish boiler. This boiler still remains in its rough stone setting, which is very cool to see. Here's what this boiler looks like on the inside, which I found out last year when I had to climb inside it to retrieve a heap of kids gumboots. You'll also find a tubular boiler sitting alongside it. Close to the battery site, we can see the remains of a cyanide plant, where the imprints of several large vats can be seen running beside the walking track, and a series of smaller vats run in a line just beyond them. The larger vats were used to soak crushed ore from the battery in a cyanide solution, dissolving the gold, and the smaller vats were used in the process of recovering that gold from the solution. Cyanide treatment was introduced in the late 19th century to recover gold from finely crushed sands, and it was so much more effective than the previously used method of mercury amalgamation that all the battery tailings piles across the region were retreated using this technique, with excellent results. This site also has plenty of evidence of alluvial workings. Beyond the cyanide vats, we can see the remains of a gold puddling machine, a horsepower device used to separate gold from clay. If you wander out into the bush surrounding the battery site, you will discover the extensive remnants of the Bull Gully alluvial workings, a large area of shallow sinking. The diggers holes are well defined and many are still open to a depth of 2 to 5 meters. We also see the ruins of a Gold Rush era hut, remnants of the three-roomed family home of Thomas Rice. Rice discovered a 537 ounce gold nugget at Blackman's Lead, less than 2 kilometers from here, in 1858. The remarkable discovery is commemorated by this old stone monument. After gold mining operations slowed down or ceased in the Victorian goldfields, sometimes the sites, dams and boilers were repurposed to be used in the distillation of eucalyptus oil, another big industry of the region, and that is exactly what has happened here. Eucalyptus oil was made by steaming the leaves in large vats, then condensing the vapour and drawing the oil from the condensed liquid. There are lots of abandoned distillery sites throughout the bushland of the region, and if you're interested in learning more about the process, head over to Inglewood and visit the Eucalyptus Distillery Museum. These large dams were constructed to provide water for all these operations, and looking for dams on Google Earth can be a great way to find old mining or distillery sites out in the bush. Beyond the car park, we can see an area which has been flattened by a bulldozer, leaving these distinctive lines. There are lots of mine sites across the goldfields which have been flattened like this, and you can spot them easily both from the ground and on Google Earth. The Battery Dam Historic Area is a great place to visit if you're ever around Maryborough. There are informative signs, an educational circuit walk, as well as a longer walk to a nearby set of Aboriginal rock wells. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.